Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So welcome to this car boot sale haul. I feel like it's been ages since I've um, filmed a car boot sale haul and I've got some brilliant things to show you. So I've been to a couple of car boot sales and they're actually really good. So I haven't been to many this summer because we've been away on holiday and I haven't been to any Sunday ones yet and they're like the best ones. Um, so I've just been to, I went to a Thursday one in Hemsby and I went to a Wednesday one in Norwich, it's called Arming Hall. So this is everything I picked up at two car boot sales basically. And then next week I've got a few more things to show you, um, but I'm keeping them because we're gonna be going away glamping. So I'll do a little vlog and a car boot sale haul for next week as well. But before I get into it, I've got to do my mug of the day. I feel like I haven't filmed one of these videos in ages and I nearly forgot the mug of the day. It's not really a mug though, is it? It's a teacup, it's so cute. Look at the beautiful flowers. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This was 20p from a charity shop. It's got little, um, like, sort of scallopy detail around the outside. It's very pretty. Little vintagey old teacup of the day. I've actually got a tea in here, a decaf tea, but it's gone cold now. I made it quite a while ago. So I'll just, I'll put that there. And you might notice that I am filming in a different place. I'm actually in our bedroom. And we've painted this room recently. So I did a sort of makeover, a bedroom makeover. Actually, I haven't put it on Instagram yet. It's gonna go up next week. So I worked with a company called Graham and Brown and this color's called Bobby and I love it. So it's quite dark today. So it's a really dark day actually, it's really dull. So it's actually a little bit brighter than it probably currently looks, but I love it. But I've just realized that we need to paint this bit here. So Lee helped me paint this room. He did like the main areas and I did all the cutting in and the woodwork that needs to be pink as well doesn't it i didn't actually realize till i started filming this video so i shall get that done soon because that needs to be that needs to be the same color but i love it it's so nice um so it'll be on on my house account on instagram next week i think right so where shall i start with the car boot sale haul everything here is so cheap i didn't spend much money i think the most expensive thing was oh it was four pounds actually for one item and everything else is like 50p or a pound. So I'll start off with a 50p item. I've got these tea lights. I love using tea lights at the moment. Um, and these are scented ones. They were 50p, wild jasmine, fully floral notes with hints of fresh citrus. They still smell good actually. And there is, it says there's 50, but the packet's open. So, you know, there might be a few less than 50, but that's fine. And Oh, where are these from? I think they're, oh, they're Asda. So 50p for my tea lights, which I think is brilliant. So I use these so often. I've got loads of little tea light holders and I like having the little little glows, little candles everywhere, but um, you don't have to like worry about blowing them out because they just go out after like an hour and a half, don't they? And then I also picked up from one of the boot sales, I think this was um, the Hemsby one, a drink bottle. So this was £2.50. This was from a really nice um, seller who was selling quite a few new things and it had three pounds worth. Whoa, I'm just chucking the, the thing. It had three pounds on it. And I said, oh, hello, would you take two pounds? And he said, two pounds 50. So I got this for two pounds 50. I really like it actually. It's a really nice um, water bottle. I like the design and it is Rico X. I don't know if you've heard of that. I haven't. It just says bags of ethics, um, choose to reuse on the bottom. So two pounds 50 for that and it's brand new. So I'll give it a really good wash anyway and then yeah start using that so I really really like I like that a lot um, and then I also got some gardening gloves these were £1.50 Wilco fleece lined gloves they look really good quality and I just paid £1.50 for them it's a very good price and they're really cozy you could actually just oh that's the wrong hand is it the wrong hand yeah wrong hand what hand are you oh yeah here we go they're really cozy actually so I might just I could wear these in winter and just look really weird. Hello, with my massive hands. How are you today? They feel really good and no thorns and things would get me. I can do my gardening and I'll, I'll be okay. Arr! So a pair of gloves, gardening gloves. Um, they say they're large, but they kind of, they don't feel too large. They feel perfect actually. So £1.50 for those. And then this little bargain bag, the thinnest bag in the world. It was only a pound from the same seller actually as the bottle. And I saw this and thought, oh, that's going to be really handy. A little kind of wickery, what is it? No, like a straw bag, isn't it? With um, It's like a crossbody straw bag. And I thought this is perfect for when we go away and you just need a little hold all, like a, a Ryanair or EasyJet carry-on bag, because that's not going to take up any room, but I still get a little bag 
Do you know what I mean? That I can I can squish in then use when I'm there because we're going to be going on a little break soon. Me, Ewan and Luke, we're heading off somewhere exciting and we've got a little challenge of packing our Ryanair cabin bag. So I've got a little cabin bag from Poundland and I thought I can squish this in and then take this away and I'll have a nice little, nice little handbag for when I'm there. So yeah, that was a pound, really good price. That's what he asked for and that's what I've paid. It's got a nice little hand strap there as well. Look at that, ooh, ooh. And then I also picked up this very sweet little tablecloth. This was only a pound. This was from the car boot sale in Norwich. And I just happened to see a little bit of embroidery and a bit of lace and I picked it up um, and it's really lovely. So it's kind of like for a small table, like a sort of small patio table. But it's um it's re yeah it's really pretty. So it's got lace and the pretty little detail, and then that's kind of like the middle bit. So I think it's probably about a meter. Is it about a meter? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm doing a really rubbish job of showing you this, but if you can kind of see it, it's nice and it's square. So it'll go over a little like bistro-y table and look very pretty. Sorry, I did a rubbish job of showing you that, didn't I? So I do apologize. I picked this up for two pounds. It's a little sort of toiletries set thing. I can't resist things like this. Whenever I see them, I think that is it's really good value and I use them. I put them away for like, if I if they're miniature, then I keep them for when you go away and stuff. So I thought this was really cute. It's got a little seed sachet. So this is, um, it just says Heath Coat and Ivory in the garden wellness gift and care hamper and this is seed paper plant me in the garden watch me grow so that's quite cute as well and then inside there is intensive body lotion and there is some muscle soak bath soaps what's pardon there's some muscle soak bath salts for my muscles Urgh, some really strong and then i've got um i'm not at all i'm very weak and then i've got some body wash i just really like the look of it it's cute i'm sure i've seen this somewhere like this garden these garden things and I just love the packaging so I was like we're gonna have to get it and it was two pounds that's what the lady wanted and that is what I paid her and then I saw this as well though and this is such a nice product isn't it such a nice brand and it had six pounds fifty on as you can see there the car boot sale was quite quiet it was at the end of the day as we arrived me and Toby we went on Wednesday um, I think we got there for about 10 or no, it was 20 past 10 and everyone was packing up. So I was like, oh no. But then I managed to find some things that was fine at the end. Um, so yeah, everyone was kind of packing up and I saw this and I thought I really want it. I really like it. And £6.50 is quite a lot for a car boot sale. So I asked the lady very politely if she wouldn't mind taking £4 and she said that was fine. So I got this for £4, which is really good. And it smelled amazing. I think because there's a candle in here. So you've got candle a what's that shower foam body scrub body cream scented yeah scented candle um and it, it's rituals the rituals of sakura celebrate every day as a new beginning that's good good advice actually and then in here yeah it just smells amazing i'll just quickly open this up and show you so it's brand new it's not been used and the the scent coming out of this candle is oh it makes your eyes cross well it doesn't really i just did that because i'm stupid but it um <laughs> it smells amazing a candle i'm gonna light that in a minute actually when i finish this video and then yeah the lovely products here so i just thought i'd treat myself to this to this lovely set of four quid's brilliant i think it's worth quite a lot in the real world in the real world of things right so i've got those and you put them behind me and then a lovely lady let me have this for free so i saw this on the floor and thought well, it looks really pretty and i thought it looks like it's sanderson isn't it so like sanderson fabric Probably, I don't know if I said that wrong. Sanderson? Sanderson and Sons Limited. Just gorgeous print. And then I asked how much it was and she said, oh, you can just have that for free, which was so kind of her. It was like near the end of the people were packing up, but I just thought that was lovely. And I said, oh, are you sure? And she said, yeah, have it for free. So kind. But she said, it's a bit of a funny shape. It's like, there's not much of it there, but I actually think that'd make the most beautiful table runner. I think it's just gorgeous. I love it. I love the colors in it actually. It's beautiful. It goes well in here, doesn't it, with the colours? And then I've got a little cardigan as well. This was only a pound and I need something like this because I'm not very good with cardigans. So I've got lots of nice dresses, but I just need sometimes need a little cardigan. So it's getting a little bit chilly now. Although I think this weekend's going to be quite warm, isn't it? It's bank holiday weekend. Pure and natural, small to medium, but it's really, it's perfect. Like it's exactly what I need just to chuck something on when I'm feeling a bit cold. So a pound for that. Oh, I'm going to show you the weird thing from that I got from my dad. Um, and then I'll show you my last, um, I've got a little 
oh, a little box of stuff there. So I saw this picture and I thought, I think my dad's gonna love it. So I looked at it for a little while, I think about a minute, it's quite long when everyone's packing down at car boot sales, I was looking at it and I thought, do you know what? I think my dad will like it. I do need to paint the frame. So I'm gonna order some gold paint. Now my dad is into horse racing. He's a gambler. He loves his horses. He loves horse racing. And it's just this weird, <laughs> I'm not sure it's weird, but it's this picture. Sorry, I'll go back so you can see it. And it was only two quid. Oh, it's a weird angle, isn't it? So it was only two quid and I thought, I think he's gonna love it. And if he doesn't, I'll just donate it to one of the charity shops near him. He lives um, down in Brighton now. But look, you've got the horses there. I don't know what race course it is. So if you know what that is, can you let me know where that is? If you know, it's got no information on it. I think it's a painting. Is it an oil painting or is it just a, I don't think it's a print, but I don't have a clue really. I can, whoa, I can see, ooh, I can see like the marks and stuff, but I don't know if it's a print and then, I don't really know. It's got no information. I don't know who did it, but I just thought, yeah, I think my dad will love it. So I'll order some gold paint, touch up the frame because that's a bit dodgy. And then I will, um, yeah, I'll give it to my, my dad when I see him, go down to see him soon actually so i think in about a month's time i'm gonna go and see dad i miss him i haven't seen him for a while um but we've just been busy and he hasn't been able to come up here so yeah i'll see him soon and give him that little picture after i've touched up the edges and just before i show you my last few things here i filmed a couple of bits yesterday so i got a lovely lamp and i got some beautiful old-fashioned bottles so i'll add that now so you can see the lamp and the other things that I bought. Oh, Rufus! And then I'll come back um, and show you everything else. This lamp was 50p, so it's quite near the end. Like I said, when I got there, everyone was kind of packing up. So um, a lady was selling everything really cheaply. But yeah, 50p for this lamp. I just really like the, the shade, actually. I thought that was quite pretty. It's kind of Laura Ashley-y, if you know what I mean. So I don't know where it's from originally, but I thought that was, yeah, really nice. And the base is also quite nice. It's sort of iridescent-y. So yeah, I'll definitely use the lamp shade. I'll probably put it in the hall actually. I think that's really nice. Brilliant bargain for 50p. And I got these lovely old bottles from the car boot sale as well from um, Arming Hall. And they were 50p each. And I saw these first actually, these ones. So they've got something written here, but I don't know what it says. I do need to give them a proper clean actually, because I've rinsed them out, but I haven't like washed them. I just thought I'd quickly pop some flowers in and, and show you. So yeah, 50p each, little flowers from the garden. Some lovely dahlias and cosmos and what's Gabby? Is that called Gabbius or something like that? I might've got that wrong. And sweet peas as well, I've still got some of them. So yeah, 50p each, it's a lovely green one. Um, looks actually really quite sweet as well. Maybe a bit newer than the others, but this one, has got things written on it. So it says, it's kind of iridescent as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Callaway's Celebrated Cough Syrup, the great London remedy. I feel like you can't have too many of these little bottles because when all the flowers are out in the garden, I need loads of things to put them in. I've just put them up here and they look so lovely. And all of that for two pounds and some flowers from the garden. Those bottles look so beautiful, I love them. I also picked up this little butter knife, which probably looks like a weird thing to buy, but I thought this would be really pretty. Um, I don't know, just like to have your, to, to sort of spread butter with. And if I did a little picture for Instagram, it's gonna look gorgeous. So I thought, I'm gonna get that little butter knife. It was 50p, it needs a clean. It's a bit mucky, but I really like it. I don't know how old it is or anything, but 50p, it says it's stainless steel, needs a wash. So a knife, a very weird thing, a butter knife, weird thing to buy, but I just liked it. And then I got this little Polar Gear sandwich box as well, and this was 50p. It's got a little thing in here that you can freeze, which is great. So don't even need to, um, you know, I can just keep reusing this one. So I'll put that in the freezer. It looks in great condition. This is perfect for putting little sandwiches in. Love things like this, just keep everything cool and that is great. So a little sandwich box Polar Gear for 50p. I bought this beautiful vase. So I got this um, from Hemsby a couple of weeks ago, Hemsby Car Boot Sale in Great Yarmouth, and it was £1.50. I love the colour and I really like the style of it. And I've had, um, I think I've already put it on my Instagram house account actually with flowers in, because it's just so pretty, really beautiful. Like sort of, is that jade green or is it more turquoise? Um, I don't know how old it is. I just think it's, yeah, really nice, different. And it had a £1.50 sticker on, so. That is what I paid. So a really pretty vase and I filled that up with um, 
with flowers I love that and then I've got some other vases to show you but I'm not going to keep these ones because obviously I haven't got any room but um I'm going to use these for when I go around to friends houses so I bought four of them from a really lovely lady and they were three pounds for the four I think they're just from Tesco but they're gorgeous they're recycled glass they're kind of greeny and I thought well I've got so many flowers growing in the garden that when we go to friends houses I'm just going to cut some flowers and give them a little vase each time I go around various different people and Lee's parents and stuff and his nanny and granddad and just give them a little pot of flowers like a little vase of flowers and then they can keep the vase as well and you know three pounds for four vases is so cheap and it's just a thought isn't it behind it of someone giving someone little flowers from their garden I think that's really nice so that is what I'm going to do with these and um, they're made mindfully and um, 100% recycled glass and they are Tesco I'm sure yeah, Tesco. I have actually bought one of these before. I'm sure I've got one of these that I paid full price for. But it wasn't very expensive. I think it was about, sorry, I've got an itchy, itchy lip. I think it was about three quid or something. So not too expensive. But yeah, I got four of those for um, three pounds. And then my final item, yeah, the final thing to show you is this little wooden box. So I do love a little wooden box crate type of thing. What is it? Oh, it's five ninety nine from TK Maxx, it says on the bottom there. Um, and it's just really nice so I could paint that but I'm gonna leave it as it is so that's just perfect for carrying things or displaying flowers or whatever really so I thought I would I'd get that and I actually carry things in it so it was handy I've already used it it's been very useful but really nicely made and two pounds for this little yeah little wooden box it's quite lightweight as well which is good it's not heavy um so that is everything that is my car boot sale haul so i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give the video a like and subscribe as well if you haven't already and let me know your favorite item in this haul so i've got lots of different things i do i always say it but i do love everything I'm not sure about the picture but hopefully my dad will like it maybe this is my favorite that might be my favourite item. But if you have one, add it below to the comments and I shall speak to you next week. So we're going to have a little couple of days away glamping and I'm going to do a vlog of our, the little place we're staying in. It's in Suffolk. And um, I'll show you some of the things I picked up at the car boot sale. So I've got some things for camping. So I thought, actually, I'll save them for next week. So when I do my glampy glamping video, I'll show you my camping car boot sale finds as well. So... That is um, that'll be here next week at two o'clock. But have a great weekend. Enjoy the bank holiday weekend, and I shall speak to you yeah next week. Oh, and also if you haven't watched our video from last week, me, you, and a Luke went up to Scotland and had the best time. So I'll link that below just in case you haven't watched it yet. Feel free to watch that. And they did some vlogs as well, and we just yeah, it was so nice. We had the most amazing time. We went swimming in the loch, so you can see that in Loch Ness. Um, and it was yeah, honestly one of the best one of the best weekends I've ever had. I loved it so much fun. So I'll link that below as well. And um, feel free to watch that. I'll also add my Instagram account. So I've kept Kate McCabe on Instagram, and my house account is Kate's Georgian Home. And then this um makeover will be on there soon. I need to I need to get that together, but I, I really love it. But thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye. And here's a sneak peek of the bedroom makeover and I put all little flowers and bottles along the back here. Isn't it so pretty? And I've just left them here so we've had flowers in our bedroom for the last few days. They just look lovely though. I need to um, move some actually, they're probably, probably going over but I just thought I'd show you these beautiful little flowers from the garden. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.